Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Louise Savage of Louise Savage Muses and I'm delighted to have with me today my lovely son, Simon Savage. Favourite. Lovely son, Simon <laughs> Savage. <laughs> and what are we doing today? Ryan? Well, what we're doing today, Simon, is we're going to pick um, reading prompts for the next 12 months. There they are in this beautiful trifle bowl. Because I love it. We had trifle out of it yesterday. We did. It was a sensation. I'm still recovering. Frankly, I am as well. Actually, it's been, <laughs> it's been a hearty few days. It has been a lovely few days. Um, so, do we want to talk about last year's prompts at all, Simon? Well, I just wanted to say quickly before that these are prompts that we haven't picked each other this year. No. These are prompts that you suggested via Instagram. My Patreon suggested a few, and a few people from my channel suggested a few. Um, because I didn't do very well last year. I think I maybe did five out of twelve. Right. And I think and I admitted to you. I admitted this to you in the car that because I was doing a few I felt I could get away with it a little bit more if I didn't because I could volumes, be a bit cheeky really? about it yeah. um but like I liked the idea of it I think also for me last year it was such a bonkers year and I pushed it a bit on a work mm. front that mm. my reading suffered last year and yeah, it just didn't help it wasn't a great reading year for you was no. it really um, Although the 15 books that I really, really loved and I talk about my favourite books of the year over on my channel were absolute corkers. And now, although I realise it's 15 plus three cheats. Honestly, some people just can't make their minds up, can they? Yeah. Um, so I I really loved the prompts and I like you, I didn't finish them, although I think I did nine out of the 12. Did you feel because I'd given them you could get away with it a little bit? Probably. There yeah. we go. See, um, it wasn't just yeah, me. Yeah, no, I think you're right. And also, um, I've realised that I love doing the prizes. We did two last year, didn't we? We did the women's and the booker. Um, but that whole thing of reading by whim didn't happen enough for me last year. And we may well have talked about this on my channel in another video where we talk about like plans for 2023. Yeah. So, um, but the last part of the year, this last month, I've been able to use the prompts a lot and I've loved it because it does make you look at your shelves differently. Yeah, no, no, that's one thing um, I loved. I also over-prompted because I also had three other prompt jars that I ended up just not using because I thought my whole year was going to oh, be prompt okay, reading. Okay. And the reason that I did that was because I was going to be travelling so much. Yeah, I was like, yeah. it'd be great to pre-know what I want to read. Yeah. But I've also realised that if I make a TBR, I fight it. Yeah, so I don't I, ever do that, actually. That's something else that I realised. You just don't like being told what to do. No, that's the way <laughs> that's... I was brought up. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fault is that? Well, <laughs> I'll take full responsibility for this monster I created. <laughs> and vice versa with her channel. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Anyway, um, but how did you do overall? How many prompts did you do? do you I know? think I did nine. Oh, good. The 12. I nearly said that. Sorry. I think I've only got a couple left. And it's a shame because I was really looking for I didn't do my favourite novelist because I thought that that would be my final book of the year, but I didn't get that far. And oh, maybe I did... And oh, I can't remember what she the other Yeah, but that was oh. a turquoise book cover prompt. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I think, oh, I don't know. Maybe I've done more than I thought. It does make you, like you said, it does really make you look at yourselves differently. Yeah. And also, without it being a spoiler, I want to make sure for the video that we talk about 2023 stuff, but I want to make sure I'm reading more off my shelves in the next year. Yeah. All right. So. so Prompts. Here they are, glitter, glittery, sparkly Now, prompts. we had quite they're, a lot. Oh, I'm she's just, going no, in already. No, I'm just showing you how glittery and sparkly they are. Um, but um, they're also really hard to fold, <laughs> <laughs> as you pointed out after I'd started yesterday. Yeah. Um, now, we did get quite a lot. What I did do is I did a little bit of sifting only of either ones where I didn't really understand what the prompt was, if they were a specific prompt about a specific book, or if they were a bit... They were, I think some people, in a nice way, have tried to make it really hard. Oh, OK. But I was like that's going to make it tricky if it's kind of coming yeah. from your shelves and what i wanted Don't need to do any stress well also any prompts <laughs> that involve possibly buying something for it I, that's right. not i thought that probably wasn't the mm. right part and presumably any that were too similar were yeah. there many that were similar no weirdly i think there was like ah, there was good. No, there well weren't. done everybody well done everyone you all gave us very different ones right i'm gonna mix them up and then i think ladies first Ooh. and age before beauty Okay, this right one, from the top, straight away. So, right we did, by the way, should we say we're going to do these in month order because then we've got the same prompt each month. Oh, and that yeah, might be quite be a good, good idea. Fun. I think so we it's should. It's just going to be January's. Yeah. Okay. Blurbed by one of your favourite authors. 
That Thank you, Laurie. Is it Laurie Miller? Yes, and that's a great one. I really like that. And also that might encourage me to play Bl Blurb Telephone. Have you What's heard that? about this? No. So the wonderful Julie at Linen Librarian, she created this thing where you pick a book and then from the blurb, from a quote on the book of by an author, you pick the next book by that author. Oh, okay. And then you find a quote on that book and you pick ah. the next one. And you do it like four in a row or as many as you like. And I really like that yeah, idea. Yeah, that's I a great, it's like up, a chain reaction. Although there are some authors that do quote on blink and blink in every book. Yes, I've noticed that. Anyway. Hmm. We could probably make a list. <laughs> No I'm shade just putting that here. down there. <laughs> right, your turn. Your Where turn. is my turn? <laughs> right, I'm, going, <laughs> I'm going for that one. And this one is for February, a book that has been on the Stella list. Ooh. Thank you, Sandra Zooks. Now, the Stella is the Australian Women's Prize. Oh, fantastic. But there will be books that well, are available here. Literature. Yeah. The weekend was a stellar yeah, yeah. winner, I think. Okay, that makes sense. That's a great one for February. Thank you, I love that. Oh. Make sure you put them in order. I have, I'll put that one at the top. Okay, just checking. I'll well, keep that, an eye on them. There's only two so far. <laughs> okay, for March. You're going straight for the top every time. My birthday month. I was just about to say that. Mm. You stole my words I'm glad you from remember. Me. I won't forget it. <laughs> Favourite colour on the cover? Oh, backlister back underscore 90. Or backlist reader, sorry. Yeah, backlist reader. Read it properly. I read it as backlist. Thank you. I like that one. And he's even spelt favourite correctly, so I'm happy. <laughs> Honestly, do you know what? The comments I get how naughty I am on your videos. <coughs> Can you see what's happening here? Can you see? Okay. Right, I'm going to go for that one. <clears throat> and this one is... Oh. Oh, Cindy Hykin has asked us to read a book set in your favourite city for Ooh. April. Oh, that's a really good one. Ooh. I have a few favourite cities, yeah, though. Yeah, where's my favourite city? Ooh. My top three, I think, are New York, Edinburgh and Rome. Mm, I haven't been enough. Well, I'm going to have to really think about that. Yeah, I know. Because New York and Edinburgh is also, they're my favourites, but they're also a bit obs. Yeah. What about Newcastle? Not my favourite city. Oh, I love Newcastle. And also, I don't think there's many books about Newcastle. That, well, could, be that could be interesting. Anyway, that's one to think of for April. Thank you. Yes. My hair is wild today. Berlin. Wild. You haven't been to Berlin yet, have you? No, but possibly soon. Mm, that could be a favourite, I reckon. I, reckon yeah, but I think it has to be one that's a favourite now. I thought you loved Bill Bow. I do love Bill Bow, but I don't know if it's a favourite. Mm. Favourite's a really hard thing. Yeah, anyway. it depends whether it's UK or worldwide. Well, I, like I was going well worldwide, so I was yeah, like yeah, New yeah. York straight away, because I do okay. love, love, love New York. Right then, I've, I've got a rummage apparently. Yeah, I have to. It's, oh, I this bet is... that sounds horrible on, on the thing. Oof. Sorry if that hurt your ears. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. What month are this we on? This is for May. May. Oh, I love May. A second-hand book or book you've borrowed. That's really nice. That's a nice Baywood one. 100. Thank you. I really like that. Got plenty of those as well, so that's marvellous. <laughs> I have as well, which is exciting. <laughs> you are such a child. A book inspired by your current outfit, <laughs> Rose Bracey. I said to Mum, I really hope we got this on because I was cutting them all up and folding them, and I think this, this is hilarious. I'm <laughs> it's not the only reading. one you told me about. I'm not reading any books around rugby, so let's just get well, that out. It's going to be Stranger green. Things might happen. No, this is one of my favourite greens. Something as Irish, well. I reckon. I was going to do an Irish accent, but I don't want to offend any of my <laughs> fucking all your viewers. But okay. um, yeah, top of tomorrow. Morning. I was going to say leprechaun. My favourite one, the one that gets me into the Irish sort of accent, is Turty Tree. Turty Tree. <laughs> anyway, so that's for. June. Yes. July. Ooh, July. July. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Such warmth. Hopefully. <laughs> Never tell. This is a long one. Oh, I like this one. I like this one as well. A highly anticipated book you've been saving for a special day. Thank you, Stephanie Oakes, because I... Those of you who watch this channel will know that I do have certain books that I keep as treats. I do that. Yeah. I, I, or, yeah. or there'll be authors like if I don't think there's a book for a while, I make sure I've got a couple yeah. held back. So I think that's really lovely. That's that's right to my heart, that one. Oh gosh, she's going to get emotional. I will get emotional. Oh, right. 
thrown them all <laughs> out. That one, that one flew out. So this is <sighs> August. Oh, now this I'm really chuffed we got as well because I find this period of history the most fascinating. Ooh. It's not my favourite period, but it's one that I just find fascinating. Um, this is from Miss Fix Reads and it's a book set between the world wars. Oh, which is such an yeah, interesting yeah. period of time. I think there's been a real resurgence of literature around just pre and post the Second World War. Yeah, but um, it's, I see. I have World War books. I studied it so much at school, and it's important to learn. Yeah. But I don't want. I don't like books set there now. But that in between, I just yeah, find yeah. fascinating because when society changed, class changed a yeah, little oh, bit. Yeah, absolutely. The wars had to. Well, when Shrines of Gertie is that before the? I think that's before. That's the twenties. Right. Or oh, where did you... I was getting very confused with the Twenties are in between. Oh, there you are then. Yeah, 1914, So 18, she's saving first. that for August. Mm. September. Ooh. This You've scrunched this in a very peculiar oh, manner. Oh, listen, they were just popping open. It's going <laughs> left, right and centre. This one is from R.N. McFarlane. Ah, oh, nice. A book from a country you visited. That's a nice I one. really like that because that can... I love learning more about places I've been. And also there's the nostalgia and it kind of helps you often visualise as well. Mm. Really nice one. Thank you. That's lovely. So for September. October, I did it. Oh, that one's literally attached to me. It is. It's like it a ring. It wants to marry me. It's a ring. It'll be really Who weird if it's got some it. associated. Um, oh, read a book that has food in its title by Ooh. Sue L. Davey. Now, I don't think that can be just food. I think it could be a food. Yeah. Oh, so I see. Yeah, like... that's what I assumed, actually. Oh, I thought it could be like, just the word Like, it could be an food. orange or a yeah. banana or a she could... kipper. <laughs> that wasn't what I was doing. When I did that, it was an orange, not kipper. <laughs> I couldn't see you. I, I see love you a do. kipper. I know um, you do. We talked about this, did we? Hmm. I just think the house out there. Is yeah, this we're not allowed them here. Yeah, oh, sorry. Really sad, really. For November, your birthday, man. Oh, yeah. That one. <laughs> now this I, I would have to be very honest about this Tracy I can't lie a book that's been on your shelves forever that's a really good one like that you've almost been avoiding reading I'm assuming yeah it could be because uh, I've got a few that I look at and I go no <laughs> do, do <you> <laughs> but I don't want to give them away it's like I have that sometimes too yeah I've got a few that I, I know I sort of think oh I'll read that one day and then I don't Mm. Right, we're going for the last one, no pressure. Yeah. It's got to be a goodie. Oh, I'm going to go for that one because it got stuck. Goodbye trifle dish. <laughs> um, until next year. Oh, I like this. Oh, we um, got very excited there. December, we will be doing a reading a book with weather words in the title. Oh, nice. Thank you, AJ Paperback. That's... Have you ever read House of Sand and Fog? No. Next door, you telling me oh. what to read? I don't have it on my shelves, and I really, really want to try not to buy that many new books. Well, I no, lend it to true. you. It could be a book I lend to you. No, but it's then a, that, that would book. be a different month. Okay. Not, I'm not cross pollinating my prompts. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. No, I, I, I'm <laughs> slightly again. worried. So, shall we go through them again so that people know what they are? So, yeah, in so January. January is blurbed by one of your favourite authors from uh, Laurie Mill Miller. Thank you, Laurie. February is a book that's been on the Stella list, which Sandra Zooks has suggested. Lovely. Um, and then, uh, where are we? March, March is uh, a book with your favourite colour on the cover, which is Backlist Reader underscore 90. Cindy Haken has suggested read, well, no, not suggested, prompted us yes. with in April, read a book set in your favourite city. Uh, May is a second-hand book or a book you've borrowed from Baywood 100. <gasps> Thank you. Actually, if we do do what we were thinking of possibly doing in April, that is another of my favourite cities. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, sorry. And then in uh, June, May. no, June, oh, you just did okay. May. May. Um, a book inspired <laughs> by your current outfit. Oh, Lord Thank you, Anything Rosie Grainsby. <laughs> I loved it. I would. I was saying I would wear this. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? My I literally. Bought it for Christmas. You can tell where my taste in some of my clothes yeah. comes from. Anyway, sorry. Um, July. July, a highly anticipated book you've been saving for a special day. Thank you to Stephanie Oakes for that one. August, a book set between the world wars. Thank you, Miss Fix Reads. Uh, September. <laughs> I don't really think which month came after August then. 
September, a book from a country you visited. Again, I love that one. Um, um, R.N. McFarlane. October, read a book that has food or something foodie in its title. Yeah, Thank too. you, Sue L. Davy. And November, a book that's been on your shelves forever from Tracy. I think that's quite wicked, but also quite brilliant. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. I'm already beginning to be like, uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I might have a few calls before this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, for December, uh, with weather words in the title. Thank you, AJ Payback. And it would be lovely if lots of you want to join yeah. in with us and read those books and that much. And I promise I will be better this year. I really, really, really will. I've got more some, free time this year. Some lovely person put um, put the prompts on, on Storygraph, Storygraph, which I found very, very helpful. I don't know if I've got the way I found made to me do feel that. guilty, but also very, very helpful. Yeah, but yeah, if great. anybody could do that, that would be amazing. Yeah. But if not, I'll try and work it and out. And I found so. it really interesting looking at what other people had read. Although I can't do it because my story graph's private. So um, it won't be a public one. So okay. if any of you would like yeah, to do that it, would that would be brilliant. really, really helpful and we'd be forever grateful. Yeah, we would. Well, I really enjoyed that, Simon. And, and I think this could become an annual thing because it's just a lovely thing to do. And I think this way's um, better. Yeah, I do. I, I know I'll take it more seriously. <laughs> See, I, I think, said it. I said it earlier. I think you're shock, right, though. I but think, I think it's true. I think you are right. I think it's because I didn't like it, but actually, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also because it is our relationship. We have got that. We can be a bit cheeky, snarky. Yeah, and snarky with each other. So, and also, I think as well, like I didn't put any snarky particular prompts in, or maybe a couple, but like. <laughs> Oh, now he tells me. <laughs> but also, I just think these are all really, really lovely. There was one that I am tempted to suggest as a bonus that was the one that came in a couple of times and I think could be quite special to us. And that was that um, there was a... People wanted us to read a mother-son relationship Oh, yeah, book. no, I think that's a really so nice idea. So that's a really nice idea. So it, we could basically have turned it into the Savage Prompts Or dozen. we could write one. No. <laughs> um, I'm trying to do less this year, Louise. Sorry. <laughs> Very much trying. All right, I might um, like one. But maybe that could be like a Brucey bonus one. Yeah. Oh, Bruce. Mm, that's he was lovely. Mm. Anyway, that's yes. also made me feel sad for Terry Wogan and therefore Bong. Oh, my goodness. That's how my brain that's just went on a rip. Bong was my granddad, anyway, by the way. Thank anyway, thank you very, very much, everybody, for um, watching us muse about our new prompts for 2023. Um, thank you very much, Simon, for joining me this Pleasure. morning. Pleasure. Also, I realise we've never library. filmed here. No. With the cheeky bum behind us. Yes. <laughs> anyway, oh no, I nearly ended it. It's you not my did how rude. I'm so sorry, rude. I'm dreadful. Anyway, guys. thank you very much for joining us and wishing you a very, very happy new year. Um, and look forward to lots of jolly reads in 2023. Thank you very much. You're going to do the wave, Simon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm filming now. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. You ready? Hmm? Well, hello and welcome to my channel. I'm, I'm a Louise. bit, can I just say, I think you need to go more that way because it looks really uneven. What needs so you to need to sit more a bit that way. Oh, God, I like the fact we were close to each other. I know, but I'm just thinking of the balance for the screen. That's better. That makes me feel more comfortable I'm as well. I'm in the dark, but who cares? No, you're not. I can't on. see my wrinkles so well.